Injection Molding Design Considerations Orange Plastics Academy When designing a plastic product, you need to be mindful of the injection molding process itself. Ideally, the design should allow the mold cavity to be filled in a balanced fashion. Also, once the plastic is solidified, the mold design needs to allow for an easy injection. Finally, the assembly of different product parts into one should be kept to a minimum number of steps by smart cohesive design. These rules help you to optimize product quality and reliability while keeping the overall production costs low. Consideration number one, mold flow. Many things can go wrong when liquid plastic is injected into the mold cavity. If the walls of the product are too thick, sink marks can occur in case the product isn't given enough time to completely solidify. Another potential problem arises when the product's design doesn't allow it to cool down evenly within the mold. This increases the risk for weak spots, causing the product walls to bend. Thirdly, if the product design requires the liquid plastic to diverge into multiple streams, such as a steering wheel, this could cause flow lines at the point where the flows reconverge. All these potential defects stem from a suboptimal flow of the liquid plastic within the mold. Mold flow analysis software helps to simulate the flow before the actual mold is even made. This allows you to further optimize the product design to promote optimal flow. Consideration number two, product ejection. In order to manufacture in an efficient and cost-effective manner, you want each product part to be ejected easily from the mold. So-called mold drafts help to remove parts from the mold efficiently. This means the product's walls aren't set at a 90-degree angle, but rather in an offset angle that is parallel to the mold opening and closing. The ideal draft angle for a part depends on two things. Firstly, the depth of the part in the mold and secondly, its actual end-use function. In case drafts aren't preferred from a functional or aesthetic perspective, a side-action mold may solve the problem. Thirdly, the wall of the part needs to be optimized to support the full impact of the ejector pin without damaging the part. Consideration number three, assembly. The assembly of multiple parts into a single end product can be a costly and time-consuming endeavor. Smart product designers think many steps ahead when designing a product. How the product can be designed in such a way to minimize the number of assembly steps. This is called the design for assembly approach. One design strategy is to minimize the amount of loose parts. For instance, by using 2K molds or adopting in-mold assembly technologies. Alternatively, you could ease the manual assembly process by designing bosses that can be used for attachments and assembly. Bosses provide an effective way to combine multiple parts as swiftly as possible. Last but not least, smart engineering also helps for a more sustainable future. Designing a product which can be made from one type of plastics without having to add labels, prints, screws, or other materials makes recycling a lot easier. Orange Plastics has partnered with R2S, a company that not only does sustainable engineering, but provides the services for a 100% circular loop, all for a better planet. Orange Plastics Academy is brought to you by Orange Plastics, your partner in injection molding. Want to learn more about plastic and injection molding? Subscribe to this channel or visit www.orangeplastics.com.